like New York City probably at the time we grew up in is a lot different than it is now. It was probably whatever, there's a lot more craziness, there's a lot more crime. But then at the same time, musically, there was like so much different stuff happening like all the time. Whatever was happening was kind of happening here. You know? I think the thing that probably made us want to play music, all of us, is that this is like going to punk shows and stuff like that. Like when you're around like the punk scene in New York, it's just so small. It was just like a handful of people and everybody was in bands and your friends are playing in bands. And so it always just felt really tangible to play music. You'd be the ringmaster. I'd be the guy that walks around on the elephants. I'd probably be the geek pit. The whole geek pit. Man, I'm gonna tell them about my set right here because this set right here, this is 50 cent. This is mink, baby. You know that, how much did I pay for this? This was my old TV right here. Before I blew up, this was it right here. And this hubcap used to be on my grandmother's Oldsmobile. Yeah, boy, I'm your favorite rapper, 50 Cent. Man, we're gonna get into the show. What's up, mother We're here at Auspice. We're standing right backstage. All access, baby. Look at all these people that are gathered. But what's up, folks? A lot of metal fans think that they're anti authoritarian and, you know, very rebellious, you know, but when they actually are listening to right, heavy metal and, and they're in their, the heavy metal lifestyle, they have all these guidelines and it's very, very narrow. It's a bit closed-minded to think in, in that way and our band has always been about challenging that and trying to widen that gulf. I think that we, we, we threw that challenge down from the, the word go in 1983 when we started. Selma Blair is a tad preppy. I was pretty much raised on Ralph Lauren and Burberry. A skosh unpredictable. She does voices and impersonation. They cannot handle who I am. But Selma puts her own stamp on every look. She doesn't need a stylist. It's instinctual. Style Star met up with Miss Blair in a private suite at the Beverly Hills Lux Hotel. I sure do have the gift of gab, huh? <laughs> 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 to talk fashion over a few cups of coffee. I love getting dressed up. Fashion makes you do crazy things. <laughs> Put a bar across my face for that. Are you rolling? Because this is gold. <laughs> Meet the Kardashian kids. Loving, happy, wholesome. I wish I was a Who keeps this wild bunch in line? Kendall, sit down. Hollywood's hardest working mom and dad. It's time for Parenting 101 Kardashian Style. Hi, Bruce and Chris. I just found out my son's girlfriend is cheating on him. Do I tell him? Absolutely. Absolutely <laughs> tell him. In this family, yeah. I would suggest telling him because it's hard to do. I, I kind of came up against that situation recently. And um, you did? I told my daughter. Are you cheating on me? Is that what you're saying? No, with Courtney and Scott. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I would tell him. Yeah. I, I think go. it's better. Who wouldn't want to know? It's always bad to be the messenger when you have to tell somebody that someone's cheating. Courtney is so mad at me. Honesty is always the best policy. Go, go, go! Facts. And you're looking, and you're looking. We go into this to this room to secure this thing, and he's got a gun, and these other guys, and they're shooting us from the back. The director, Pete Berg, is, is a complete dodo. And so <laughs> he just hid, basically, and took pot shots and way after we would have shot him. He was supposed to be dead. And still, he just got excited and couldn't stop. Bing, 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 bing. 